Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. So today guys, we're going to talk about how I deal with product buildup and that is to detox my hair and scalp. Usually throughout the year guys, I use a lot of products doing wash day and also doing my moisture routine. I have my butter, scalp oil, leave-in, spray, just all the stuff I put in my hair so sometimes I can't get product buildup. I do a pretty good job at cleaning my hair. You guys see I am not shy with using my shampoo. I use quite a bit of it when I use it. And if I have something like a protective style on now for more than four weeks, I will shampoo twice when I take out my hair. So I do a pretty good job at cleaning out my hair and scalp to make sure I don't have a bunch of product buildup. And also guys, you see me use apple cider vinegar. That's a great way to help with product buildup on your hair and scalp. But one thing I do is I also do a scalp detox. Now I only do this once or twice a year. I don't do it all the time because it's not necessary. You just need to make sure you're doing this at least once a year to help your hair with product buildup and just keeping a clean, healthy scalp overall to grow healthy long hair. So my scalp detox that I do guys, you don't need a lot of products, is just a few things from your kitchen and your favorite natural shampoo and you're ready to go. So the way I make my detox guys is I use one lemon, you need a whole lemon, and also you're going to need apple cider vinegar, sea salt, and the shampoo of your choice. Now uh, just a note guys, so you'll know before you do this, make sure you don't have any cuts and bruises on your body or your scalp because if you do, this is gonna burn like crazy because I did it one time. It burned so much I didn't notice I had a little scratch on my shoulder. I sure felt it when I was doing this detox. Now, the way I do this, I get about two tablespoons, two to three tablespoons of lemon juice. I put a teaspoon of apple cider vinegar, guys, and I also put about two tablespoons of sea salt. And after that, I pretty much add in the amount of shampoo I would need to shampoo my hair twice. Uh, so Put in whatever amount you need and mix all of that together and pretty much make a watery mix. It won't be paste, so you need to be in the shower to do this. Lemon is a great little remedy for hair loss because one of the things it has is vitamin C. And when that goes in your roots, it helps to strengthen the roots and also that helps to stimulate hair growth. Now, apple cider vinegar, you guys know that it has so many benefits like it's antifungal and antibacterial. It fights dryness, infection, dandruff, and itchy scalp. So great if you're having any kind of scalp problem like those. And my favorite thing about apple cider vinegar is it helps to balance your scalp pH. So that's one of the reasons not only I use it to clean up my scalp, but it's also helping to balance that pH while I'm using those other ingredients on it. Now sea salt, it goes and helps to strengthen your hair follicles and it also increases blood circulation, which in turn stimulates hair growth. So those three little ingredients, guys, they're great to not only detox your hair, but they're doing so much to help you grow healthy long hair. So that's why I use them in my detox. And I told you guys to use a natural shampoo. I notice when I'm using DIY mace like this and I use a natural shampoo or conditioner, they work a lot better than if you were using Using something that had more chemicals or something that might not mix well with natural products. So guys, doing this is simple. All you do guys, of course, you go and hot oil your hair. You guys know I always hot oil my hair before I use any shampoo in it. And because I'm doing this, I did very big chunks of twists because you want to be able to reach the scalp guys. So when I put this on, I will take a handful of the mix and add it to the scalp and massage that in. Now, if you guys can see, I'm not scrubbing my hair. I am just lightly massaging it in. The ingredients will do the work because you're using sea salt you don't want to scrub that and go in there and scrub it in hard because you don't want to scratch or damage your scalp in any way to cause any problem with your hair growth and getting some scalp damage I'm going to do this all over my hair guys just go completely throughout the hair each twist guys I'm doing this by itself so it's going to take a little bit of time to do this why I take out a day to do this and after I'm done with that I go and I use my scalp invigorator I go over it a little bit more to help that vibration will help lift up any more dirt and grime on your scalp and I rinse it out and I make sure I rinse that completely out my hair is completely rinsed out and I go a second time and I just pour it over the hair I don't scrub like I would just lightly massage it in and then I rinse that out after I'm done doing that guys because I just detox my scalp I'll go with my conditioner and I'll just condition the ends we leave that in for about three minutes and then rinse it out and then apply my deep conditioner and I do use my steamer you don't have to use a steamer when you deep condition 
but you can use a plastic bag or heat cap. Make sure to get in some good moisture. Even though you just use those ingredients, guys, this is not going to feel rough. Your hair is not going to feel dingy or crazy. It's the total opposite, actually. You get soft, manageable, just fluffy hair that's soft to the touch, and you can go ahead and just put your products in. So what I want you guys to know is, Every year I do this, as I mentioned, once or twice a year, and I must say I do feel the difference when I do it because I notice that my products work better, my hair soak them up a lot better, and I see the health overall of my hair improve. So it does do a lot to help your scalp, it does improve your products, and it will save you money because if your products are working more, you don't need as much conditioner or shampoo, you'll keep your products longer and you'll see better results out of those products. So if you guys do do scalp detox, please comment down below and let us know. Do you make your own DIY detox or do you go to the store to buy it? And if you do buy it at the store, Please leave a comment down below and let us know about the ones you use because I've always made my own so I've never really bought one at the store to know anything about them. So if you do have one, comment down below and let us know. So thank you guys so much for watching. If you haven't already, of course guys, subscribe to my channel. Don't forget to like, comment, go over and watch my last video.